to two k. Let's say this name is okay. So we'll say okay. Now, so general debts term. So I don't have to do this. That uh, now I'll go directly to the layer inputs. So what I've done, I've said that for instance, my design section is two inch of thick uh, asphaltic wear course, two inch of asphaltic base course, seven point five inches of granular sub base course, and thirty uh, um, thirty inches of my sub base course. And for that Poisson ratio, six point three five to all of them and for sub gram a top rate of posa ratio 0 0.40. So I press OK, that's OK. Now, the next is the model I, and since I've taken only one period, that's why I can input my model as 4,045, 450,000 for wearing goes, 400,000. Um, I can take this, say, 35,000. And for this, I can take say 16,500. I, I may take this 15,000. And for say modulus of sub rate uh, or resilient modulus, I can take for instance 7,500. So that's okay. Once I put okay, that's it. Another input factor is now the next and very important is the load. Now I've said that. I have selected nine load rules. That's why you can see the nine rows are visible. So the first load is first I have taken this is a truck, uh, two axle truck. Uh, both have a single axle. So first thing I will go this is uh, now we, we you see this zero means load single axle with a single tire. It has a contact radius. We know all how you can divide this contact radius. And it's a tire pressure of 90 psi. And since it's a single axle, single truck, there is no other wheel. So that's why YW and XW is zero. And then this we are interested in knowing the response. That's why we say this is one. So it's not default, but we type it as one. It's very important. And once you type it one, then in this, you can leave it a uh, number of radial coordinates as it is. Now now I'm talking of the same truck. Now I'm talking about the rear axle. Rear axle of single unit truck have dual tires. That's why I said it's one. You can have a truck having a single axle, a single tire. Mm. But this, this, this cannot be a case for truck, but for instance, we're talking about um, of when uh, uh, SR is a VU when, or you know, as a school when, uh, or highest, it may have a two axle, uh, both the front and single, and they may have single tire on each side. So that you can take all, always take zero as well. It's not, it's, incidentally, here I've taken a truck having a single X, single tire at the front and dual tire at the back. That's why I'm writing it one. It's not because uh, we'll have to go like binary system zero or one. It can be zero, zero. As I repeat, for a high S wave that has four wheels, two at the front, two at the rear. So it can be zero as well. Now the contact radius, contact pressure, it's understandable. And since it's a dual tire, uh, we need to know the spacing between the dwell tire that is 13.5. And again, we'll type press we'll right one here and we press it, will ask you the number of coordinates like this. You don't need to worry about it, just, just take it as a default. So, what I've done uh, is I proceed with this thing. I, now, this is my one vehicle. This is second vehicle. The third vehicle is incidentally I have the vehicle that has a truck that has got a single axle at the front, a tandem axle at the rear. So for that, I will write two, and you can always say it said two for single axle, two, two for tandem axle. So it's a tandem axle, that's why two. And once you do this tandem axle, you have to 
provide not only the space between the tire, but the space between the axle cell as well. So that's why 13.5 and 55 and NR or NPT will be one. So similarly, you go, uh, if I have a third vehicle, incidentally a vehicle has got single trailer, 789 is the one vehicle uh, having a rear front exit, single tire. The second is dual tire and the third is a tandem. That's why I have 0, 1, 2. Uh, the contact radius, the tire pressure. And um, I can, you know, usually we may have a tire pressure of 125 here. So I can put it 125 here. 13.5 one th is the between spacing between the vehicles. And here 13.5 is the vehicle spacing between the vehicles, the wheels. And 55 is the spacing between the tandem. So that's how I've completed my table. I'll say, okay, that's fine. That's okay with me. Now, for the moduli, I've done this load and then the damage analysis. This is another thing. You know, you don't need you to do anything except the default is zero, put it one. Okay. Top layer compression, put it one here. Actually, the default is zero, so you have to put it one. Otherwise, you will not able to perform the damage analysis and the volume of traffic. Now, this, this is very tricky. There are different school of thoughts uh, that take different total number of load repetition. But my recommendation is what I have done is taking the E cells for the 10th year and multiply by this. So that's how you can see the same number because one uh, load group one and two belongs to one vehicle. Then three, four has the same total number of load repetition because it's the same vehicle. Five, six is also the same vehicle. Seven, eight, nine is the third vehicle. That's why I've taken this as total load total number of load repetition. You can say it's a weak uh, load repetition at, at the end of the design life. So that's okay. For my payment section, I assume a design life of 10 years. So it's okay. I would say I press this button. Okay. I press it. Okay. And I have done with this input analysis. So once I've done this thing, I will press save as. I'll say, okay, this is same thing. I'll say, I'll say, okay. And then I will exit. Once I've done this thing, I'll go to this scan layer. It's a scan layer of those of you who already know the scan layer. Just this is, you can say, it's, it's a file that can execute the program. So I'll say can there. Now, Alhamdulillah, that has been uh, safe and that has been run. So it's okay. I'll go to editor. I'll file. I'll open that file that I've saved. That's table to and open it. So what has happened is that I can know that this is my life and this is 13.29 is the design life. That, that is what I'm interested in. So once I've done this thing, this is my design life. Now, this is a simple way of checking your section. And you can do, you know, many things in here um, that's maybe beyond this. Uh, you, you can say, you can check your section by L graph. For instance, you can say, what you have given the models and that, and that's uh, you can go one by one and that. So that's that's how uh, if you are you know interested to print, you can always print and you can go like this. So that's that's how you go with this program, and we go back to our thing, and that's uh, I I hope I am. You know, explain this uh, damage analysis to you. I will, I will, inshallah, have more things uh, in 
in the near future. Till then, uh, love is and take care.